What is the role of a pharmacist on the healthcare team? How well do you know your pharmacist? Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jessica Louie and I love helping burned out pharmacists and healthcare professionals simplify their lives, clear the clutter, and reset stress and burnout. Today we're talking about how well you know your pharmacist and 10 fun facts about pharmacists you might not know. Let's dive right in. First fun fact, pharmacists hold doctorate degrees. Yes, since the year 2000, all schools of pharmacy graduated students with a doctor of pharmacy degree. Before 2000, you may meet pharmacists that have a bachelor degree instead of their doctorate degree. I personally graduated from the oldest doctor of pharmacy degree program in the country, University of Southern California, back in 2013. Pharmacists are licensed in each state they practice in. We take both a national board exam and a state board exam to practice in each state we are licensed in. I am personally licensed in California and Utah, the two states I have practiced in. Pharmacists are able to complete postgraduate training opportunities. Many of us know these as residency or fellowship programs. I personally completed a PGY-1, a postgraduate training year one in pharmacy practice, and a PGY-2, a postgraduate year two program in critical care, both at the University of Utah Healthcare. These postgraduate training programs usually span one, two, or three years in residency and fellowship. So if you know the medical and physician world well, you know that they complete postgraduate training programs for three to seven years or so between residency and fellowship. So very similar in the pharmacy world, maybe a little bit shorter for most of our specialties. Pharmacists can be board certified in the area of specialty. These board certifications span many different specialties. I personally am board certified in critical care. There are over 12 different specialties that pharmacists can be board certified in. Get the most up-to-date information by clicking the links below for our board certification website and find your board certified pharmacist near you. Yes, pharmacists can administer vaccinations in all 50 states. It's a great time to check in and see if you're due for any of your vaccinations. Maybe it's flu season. I've personally been certified to administer vaccinations since 2009. Pharmacists provide MTM services, also known as medication therapy management services. This is excellent for anyone who's on more than a few medications and may be diagnosed with some chronic diseases. Many times these medication therapy management services are covered by your Medicare or Medicaid insurance providers. Pharmacists are considered the most accessible healthcare professional. More than 90% of people living in the United States live within five miles of a pharmacist. Yes, within five miles of a pharmacist. Pharmacists do much more than dispense medication. I personally do not dispense medications myself as a critical care pharmacist. Yes, I know how to compound and get a medication at the last minute, but that's not my role and responsibility. Many times we're on the floors with the interprofessional medical teams rounding on patients, sitting and talking to patients, family members, and other healthcare professionals. Pharmacists are highly educated and highly skilled to deliver care and services to a variety of settings, whether that's in the hospital setting like myself, ambulatory care clinics, where you see your PCP, these drug development and pharmaceutical companies, informatics, academia, long-term care, nursing homes, veterans affairs, and the list goes on and on. Pharmacists might have advanced licensure status, such as an APH. An APH is an advanced pharmacist practice license. I personally have this license in California, and depending on the state, you may be able to perform a higher level of patient care services. You can visit your state board of pharmacy website to see this designation and find pharmacists that are licensed in this area. Pharmacists are continually learning. Just like any other profession, we're getting continuing education credits, also known as CE credits, in our specialty, in our states, in the guidelines to stay up to date on new medications, new guidelines for disease state, so we can treat you at the highest level of care. So those were 10 fun facts about pharmacists. How well did you know your pharmacist? Is it time to open a discussion with your local pharmacist or your pharmacist in your ambulatory care clinic, in your hospital setting, your neighbor, to start the conversation and be open-minded to what they might be doing to help you and your family members.
Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to check out these videos on more pharmacy resources, burnout, and simplifying your life. Until next time, spark joy.